bring us up to speed on what you've seen in the past hour. We know that Israel's military is building up there along the border. What are you seeing today? Hey, uh, Morgan and Vicky, you can probably hear periodically there are Israeli helicopters circling over our heads. Just behind me is Gaza. You can see right now there's a little bit of a glow in the distance. That is where a missile has struck inside of Gaza. As we've been out here for the last few hours, you hear just the steady flow, the lull of what almost sounds like thunder, but it is Gaza being bombarded by missiles, by rockets, by mortars, what have you, from the Israeli side of things. So far today, we have not, uh, since we've been out here in the last couple of hours, seen or heard uh, any sort of rockets. Actually, we have something coming over our head right here now. Uh, get, we're going to get, get down. down. Get yes. down, Allison. We'll come back to you. Yep. Obviously, this is a very dynamic and dangerous situation, dangerous situation, including for our reporters out in the field. We're going to try to get some confirmation that Ellison and her crew are OK. Yeah, let's just hold on for a minute. And even if there's a photographer nearby who could just give us the word that you guys are safe. Uh, Ellison, we just want to make sure that you're Hey, guys, you're it's Ellison. It's okay, Ellison, Ellison down here. If you guys can still hear me, it's we Ellison. Can. We yeah. are all right. We are on the ground right now taking cover, which this is what you do when you hear something like this is you get as low as possible and seek some shelter nearby. We have some of those locations that we'd specified out near here. This is, I think, just for our viewers to know, uh, a reminder of how quickly things can change. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing right now, we all have our protective equipment on. We're as flat as we can possibly be on the ground here uh, as we wait for this to clear. We'll stay down for the next couple of minutes to make sure there's not any sort of shrapnel. Uh, but this is the situation on the border with Israel and Gaza right now. Uh, and this is the case of what Israeli civilians are dealing with inside mm. Gaza. We know it is much worse. They are being heavily, heavily bombarded there, oftentimes without any access to a, a shelter, a shelter or some place to seek safety. So we're going to stay down here for now, guys, just to make sure that there's no shrapnel that falls uh, in this direction. But everybody here on our team is OK and safe and has sought shelter. Ellison, that's the most important thing. Please continue to stay safe. We will keep your picture up so that we can still hear you. Uh, I want to make sure that you're doing OK. We're seeing lights. Uh, and we'll looks like bomb going off in the background. If you saw the, the sky, it lit up there in red on the top right portion of your screen. Ellison, we see lights and some activity there in the background. I know that previously you were reporting that you had okay. seen tanks hey guys, yeah. coming up. Are you seeing more military tanks there along that border? Yeah, we have seen that throughout the last couple of days where we've been given the clear from our security and our team that we're okay to get back up here. Uh, so I'll keep reporting and stay with you guys if you guys want to stay with us for a little bit longer. Uh, to answer your question, yes, massive amounts of military uh, equipment, tanks moving uh, over the last couple of days. We saw more of them today as we were driving towards the direction of Gaza. Uh, I was speaking with a spokesperson for the uh, Israel Defense Forces last night and asked him, is it fair that we are characterizing a ground assault into Gaza as imminent. Mm -hmm. And his answer to me was, we have been very clear on what we intend to do. He mm -hmm. said, we have called up over 300,000 reservists. We have moved the majority of them to the border with Gaza. We have sent a few others, he said, to the north. But the majority of their movements, their troop, uh, all of the equipment, massive amounts, has been moved towards the border with Gaza. And we just constantly see it. We hear it again. You'll hear in just a second. There's a helicopter circling overhead as we have some booms lulling in the distance. Again, that's Gaza. That is weapons being uh, missiles, mortars, things like that being fired into Gaza. Uh, not in our direction right now, other than that one a minute ago. For the most part today, we have seen it going towards Gaza. And when we watch the horizon, you see just again and again these little pockets, mm -hmm. like the little lull of orange smoke over there where something has hit inside of Gaza City. A plume of smoke will explode, and it's just constant all across the horizon into Gaza. The U.N. says right now there are close to 800,000 people displaced inside of Gaza. Remember, those civilians have no way out. And wars, as terrible as they are, even wars have rules. And according to mm -hmm. the Geneva, Geneva Conventions, both sides of a warring party have an obligation to try and protect civilian life. So far, no humanitarian corridors have been established out of Gaza. People are trapped inside there as we are seeing constant escalation of this war. And Allison, Vicky, we are seeing constant bombardment as well. We just saw an explosion over your left shoulder. We're going to let you and your crew get to safety. Ellison, thank you for the excellent reporting. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.